this is the uh, topic for uh, week 9 or uh, lesson 9 for operating a personal computer uh, to give you an overview of this um, uh, lesson or of this module no? uh, basically this module defines the skills required to operate a personal computer by starting the computer and its peripheral devices operating systems and its components Work with files and folders, starting and closing programs, saving and printing work, and shutting down the unit. So basically, um, uh, you will know how to operate a, uh, uh, a desktop, a, a uh, computer, and uh, you will learn um, the base, the, the different um, peripheral devices, um, how to arrange and customize the, uh, the desktop or the window setting. And um, how to create a uh, files or folder, move, copy, okay? how to save, how to open or launch um, applications or programs, and how to set up your printers and print documents. So basically, yun yung objectives for this week's lesson. Okay? So I'm sure yung iba dito na, uh, familiar ka na or familiar na kayo, okay? uh, ginagawa nyo na to. Okay? So yan. Okay, so let's first let us first define what is a computer peripheral. Okay, computer peripherals are devices found inside or outside the computer which are used for input and output. So basically, pag sinabi natin peripherals, this refers to any um, uh, input or output devices connected to your computer. It can be wired. Ibig sabihin, um, uh, kino connect natin siya sa ating mga ports wired so may cable or it can through it can be a wireless um, devices so paano ba yung wireless pwede natin pwede tayong mag-connect via uh, the local air network or sorry wifi okay and pwede rin via bluetooth okay now there are printers no na pwede nating uh, pwede tayong mag-print ng documents uh, kung mayroon tayong bluetooth Okay, or uh, naka-enable yung Wi-Fi. So, may mga printers na ganun. Okay, and if you want to replace these devices, you can easily connect and disconnect them. Now, um, anong pagkakaiba ng computer peripheral sa parts na meron tayo sa isang desktop or laptop? Okay, ito ay hindi part ng core ng computers. Pag sinabi natin core computers, this refers to the memory, the, the CPU, okay, the... Uh, the LAN port, okay, iba yun. Iba siya sa peripherals. Pag sinabi natin peripherals, we have different types. Okay, so we have the input devices. So, ang example ng input devices na peripherals, computer peripherals are your mouse, keyboard, wherein we use it to input uh, text uh, numbers okay, or alphanumeric characters, yan. And keyboard, we, uh, the mouse, we use it to uh, click, drag, move an icon a file or a folder okay. so input devices so sinabi natin input it accepts the computer accepts um, data from the devices or the peripherals however pag sinabi natin output devices okay this refers to your monitor your printer okay wherein it is the opposite of the input devices so basically uh, output devices it displays no displays um, display uh, figures videos yan okay uh, produce uh, printed document yan okay so they're used to extract test images and even sound from the computers ibig sabihin your speaker is an example of an output devices and same with the projector wherein it displays uh, images or uh, uh, videos or even sound and videos okay so um, these are examples of output devices. Now, another kind of computer peripherals is your input-output devices. Input slash output devices. Okay? Ibig sabihin, it can perform both the input and then the output. Ano mga example na to? Yung mga, uh, say for example, your smartphones. So, yung smartphones natin na touch screen. Okay? Pwede tayong mag-tap. Pwede tayong mag-input sa screen. And at the same time, it displays the images, the text, okay, uh, even the videos, no, sa ating laptop. So, 
That's why sinasabing input and then at the same time output devices. And some of the uh, laptop na may touch screen na features. Okay? So these are examples of input output devices. Okay? So you can swipe, tap, and touch them. And at the same time, the touch screen and phone screen displays pictures and movies. Okay? So input output devices. And the last one is the output devices such as yung ating mga flash drive, yung ating uh, CD drive, okay? or uh, compact compact disk, sorry, compact disk, where in insert natin siya sa ating uh, CD drive. Okay? And we also have the external hard drive where in uh, we use it to store, save information, files, like files, music, pictures, and movies. Okay? Now usually, okay, ito daw ng mga input-output devices are plug and play. Pag sinabi natin plug and play, okay, pag uh, kinonect natin siya pwedeng sa USB port or uh, sa HDMI, automatic, okay, uh, acknowledge siya ng ating laptop or ng ating desktop. Okay, so hindi na natin kailangan pong mag-install ng mga drivers nila. Okay, so that's why it's considered plug and play. Okay, we can use it immediately once na kinonect natin siya sa ating desktop or laptop. So these are the four types of computer peripherals. So if you're using a desktop or a personal computer, your peripheral devices should be connected at the back of the system unit. Pag sinabi natin yung system unit, ito yung parang rectangular, okay, nakasabay ng ating uh, uh, monitor, okay, sa mga personal computer. Pero sa ating laptop, usually yung mga uh, ports, okay, kung saan natin kinoconnect yung ating mga peripheral devices ay nasa side ng ating uh, laptop. Okay? So, ports are connecting points or places for the peripheral devices and the computer to work together. So, basically, marami tayong iba't ibang uri ng ports. No? So, I have here a figure wherein it shows the, uh, the different ports. So, itong labeled na 1 and 2, uh, usually ito ay uh, PS, PS slash 2 ports. Okay. Um, dito natin uh, kinoconnect yung ating mouse and keyboard na may PS2 port or uh, yung uh, uh, ganitong itsura ng uh, port. No? So, usually, ang connected dito ay mouse and keyboard. But sometimes, yung mga ginagamit na natin ngayon, recently, ng mga keyboard or uh, mouse ay naka-USB na. Kinoconnect natin siya sa USB port. Okay? And um, sometimes, iba naman, Bluetooth wireless yung ating mga mouse or keyboard. So, para makonect natin siya, okay, uh, uh, wirelessly, okay? Uh, Kinunoconnect natin siya via Bluetooth. Okay? So, yung number three is the VGA port wherein dito natin ini-insert yung ating um, monitor. Okay? So, that's number three. Pwede rin dito yung printer kasi may mga printer na VGA port pa rin ang ginagamit or parang naka-serial, no? Yung uh, end ng uh, uh, cable ng uh, printer. Okay? So, yan. And etong number four, uh, basically this is composed of um, the uh, USB port or the HDMI port. Okay? Kasi iba yung figure nung nasa baba, etong nasa leftmost, dalawa. Okay? So ginagamit natin siya for um, USB, flash drive, sorry. Ginagamit natin siya for flash drive or uh, um, mouse na uh, USB type. no? So yan. Or even we pag-charge ng ating mga mobile phones. Okay? So, in-insert natin siya dyan pag tayo mag-charge. Mag yung number 5 naman is for the LAN, local air network. Okay? Para makapag-connect tayo sa isang local air network, we use itong 5 na port. Okay? So, this is the, uh, we use the RJ45 to connect to a local air network. Okay? And your 6 naman is the uh, multimedia. Okay? Uh, yung ating mga mini jack okay, na port, ini-insert natin dito, pwedeng microphone, pwedeng uh, speaker, headset, yan. Okay? Number six. And yung number seven, pwedeng, uh, this is another type of um, a VGA port. Okay. Anong pagkakaiba ng three and five, and the three and seven? Yung three is a male port, and yung uh, seven is a female port na VGA. Okay, so pwedeng uh, printer, okay, uh, serial, okay, uh, pwede mong i-connect uh, dito, okay. 
kasi sometimes uh, magkaiba yung end ng cable. Okay? So, paano malalaman natin kung female or male? etong may pins, yan. Okay? Ibig sabihin, this is a male and then this one is a female port. Okay? So, basically, these are the different ports that we use to connect the different peripherals or devices na meron tayo. Okay? So, para magamit natin sila. So, how are we going to uh, switch on and off uh, the uh, various peripheral devices. Okay? So, some peripheral devices should be turned on and off before they function. Kasi yung iba, pag kinunek natin siya sa, say for example, mouse, okay, USB type na mouse, pag kinunek natin siya sa USB port, automatic siya, we can use it. Wala siyang on and off. No? Though some iba meron. Okay? So, most of them have switches or buttons, so power them up and shut them down. So, simply look for a power button or a switch to boot up these devices. And it is important to remember that these devices, just like your CPU, should be properly shut down to avoid damage. Okay? So, hindi pwedeng, sometimes, di ba, pag nagmamadali tayo, okay, uh, kinoclose lang natin or ina-unplug natin sa outlet yung ating mga desktop. So, which is a big no-no. Kasi it can damage the, uh, it can be the, uh, the CPU or the processor or the, uh, the motherboard. Okay, baka in the long run, pag lagi natin yung ginagawa, hindi na mag-on yung ating mga devices. Okay, so um, it is a must that we properly uh, uh, shut down our uh, uh, computer, laptop, or uh, gadgets or devices. Okay, so how are we going to know? Okay, paano ba natin malalaman kung ano yung mga devices na connected sa ating computer? Kasi sometimes, di ba, uh, say for example, nag-connect tayo ng mouse. Ngayon, yung mouse pala natin, low bat. Kasi there are USB type na mouse. Okay, na yung mga USB type, okay, they are, kumbaga yung power nila ay galing sa laptop. Okay. But some, especially yung mga wireless, uh, kinoconnect natin siya via Bluetooth. Meron silang sariling battery. Okay, so para mag-work sila. So ngayon, say for example, nag-lowbat yung battery ng mouse nyo, paano nyo ngayon ma malalaman na connected pa siya? Okay? Uh, we can do this, itong steps na nandito, to check kung working ba yung ating mga devices or peripherals properly. Okay? So, yan. Okay? Or connected ba siya? Kasi baka naman pindot tayo ng pindot or ginagamit natin sila and sabi natin may sira yung aking keyboard or mouse, pero yun naman pala ay hindi siya uh, in-acknowledge or uh, hindi siya connected sa ating devices. So, to check to check the different devices connected sa ating computer, so, simply just click the start button and look for yung uh, devices and printers. So, makita natin dito sa devices and printers lahat ng peripherals na connected sa ating laptop or uh, desktop. Okay? Or sa ating personal computer. So, sa figure na to, yung Chinec, no, ang makita dito the devices ay um, merong mouse and at the same time merong um, external drive. Okay? So, connected siya. So, ibig sabihin, uh, connected itong mga devices nito sa laptop or desktop. Okay? So, next is how to properly log in and log out. Okay, so to start or boot up your computer properly, follow these steps. Okay, check if the computer is connected to a power supply or an electrical outlet. So sometimes, no, especially pag uh, marami tayong user ng ating desktop sa bahay, yung iba ina-unplug, tapos nung tayo nagagamit, ino-on natin, yun pala, hindi naman, hindi gumagana. So pala natin sira siya. Yun pala, hindi lang naka-plug yung... Uh, uh, socket or yung saksakan dun sa sa outlet no so we have to check no first kung uh, naka-on ba yung ating AVR or connected ba yung uh, uh, ating computer sa electrical outlet okay and then make sure that all the peripherals needed are connected to computer so connected ba yung ating keyboard sa uh, ports okay kung yan man ay USB or PS2 connected ba yung ating mouse okay Sometimes kasi kahit hindi yan connected, okay, uh, pag ino natin or binoot natin yung ating desktop or laptop, okay, first thing na gagawin ng laptop or desktop is to check 
yung uh, basic input output and devices yung BIOS. So check niya connected ba yung keyboard, connected ba yung uh, mouse or uh, mayroon ba siyang external drive nakikita na naka-attach or uh, working ba yung kanyang memory yan, right? So yan. Ang uh, usually lang nagche-check niyan ay yung BIOS. Meron tayong tinatawag na POST or the power on self test where in yung computer mismo or yung desktop mismo Okay, iti-check niya kung ano yung mga connected sa kanya. Okay? Uh, Tine-check niya kung working ba yung kanyang memory or hindi. Sometimes, may maririnig tayong uh, beep. Okay? So, beep. Yan, usually. Ibig sabihin, that's um, a uh, uh, baga, notification okay, na working siya properly. Sometimes, pag hindi, okay, may maririnig tayong beep, 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 beep. Yan. Ibig sabihin, may, pwedeng may sira siya. Depende sa number of beep na nabuproduce. Okay? So, paano yung nalalaman? Depende rin sa uh, uh, manufacturer ng BIOS mo. Kasi pwedeng Megatrend, pwedeng AMI, uh, different BIOS manufacturer yung mga BIOS. Okay? Or Phoenix, meron silang uh, tawag dito. Uh, say for example, pag may, may sira yung inyong memory, mag, may, may magpuproduce siya ng tatlong bit. Yan. Ibig sabihin, may sira yung memory nyo. Okay, so, yun usually. Okay? So, how to properly log in, log out? So, check first kung connected yung inyong uh, computer sa electrical outlet. And make sure na lahat ng peripheral devices ay connected. Yung monitor nyo connected kasi baka naman sunit nyo yung power button. Walang nag-display. Pwedeng ano, hindi siya naka-properly uh, connected sa outlet din. Okay? Or baka naman naka-dim, naka-dark yung uh, brightness. So, check tayo ng check. Okay? Hindi naman natin makita yung pala naka-dim. Okay? May mga ganun situation. Okay? So, we have to look for the power button. So, I have here three icons or representation, graphical representations of a power button. So, anong common dito sa tatlong to? Meron siyang circle and then one. Ito, circle and then one. Circle and then one. Wherein, it denotes pag power button, one is on. Zero for off. That's why ganun yung symbol niya. No? So, malalaman ka agad natin, ah, okay, ito yung switch button. One for on, zero for off. That's why uh, yun yung uh, kanyang symbol. No? So, yeah. so, press the power button and wait for the computer to, but, to boot up or start. Now, uh, kung meron kayong nilagay na password, you have to enter your password and then click the login. Kung wala naman kayong nilagay na password, Mm, automatic naman siyang mag-load, uh, okay? I ibig sabihin, automatic mag-start yung inyong computer. Okay? So, that's how to properly log in and log out. I'm sure, na-experience yun na to. Okay? So, paano naman tayo mag-log out? Okay, so magkaiba ang log out or uh, log off sa turn off or shut down, sorry. Okay? Ang log off or log out, ibig sabihin, um, maraming uh, tawag dito, user sa inyong computer. Or pwedeng isa lang yung user, admin lang, pero gusto mong naka-close yung inyong ano, um, kumbaga Windows desktop. Okay? Parang pag nag-click siya ng any keyboard or even pag minub niya yung mouse, okay? uh, magre-require siya ng password kung merong password. So that's the importance of um, a logout. Hindi mo magagamit yung uh, uh, desktop automatically. Okay, so how are we going to log off our computer? So first is we have to click the start button. So alin ba yung start button? Itong may uh, Windows na logo sa lower left most. Yan. And then click the arrow uh, beside the shutdown and then makita natin dito yung log off, switch user, lock, restart, sleep, hibernate. So anong pagkakaiba-iba nito? Switch user as I mentioned kanina, pag marami kayong create na profile account sa inyong desktop or laptop. Okay, so meron tayong admin, meron tayong pwede kayong kumrate ng guest and another account. Okay, para kumbaga, anong purpose ng mga iba't ibang account? Para yung mga files mo, ikaw lang maka-access. Okay, so yan. So, switch off, ah sorry, log off is for you to uh, this is actually shut down the uh, the the uh, the computer. 
lock if you want to uh, lock the computer and then pag nag-click kayo ng any keys sa keyboard nyo or uh, click sa mouse, mag-require siya ng password. Restart, that is to restart. Sleep, ibig sabihin, it's similar to uh, uh, shutdown or log out or log, sorry, log out. But, ang pagkakaiba ng sleep sa log out is that uh, yung sleep, pag nag-click kayo ng, pag nag-press kayo ng keys sa keyboard nyo, kayo mag-on automatic. Unlike pag naka-off talaga yung inyong computer, you have to press the power uh, button. Okay? So, sleep and hibernate is similar sila. Okay? So, sabi dito, if you leave any open programs, your computer will automatically close them for you. So, importante na isave natin yung ating mga uh, ginagawa. Be it in the Word document or any uh, thing that, that we are doing. Otherwise, mawawala yung ating ginawa. Okay? So, okay. Operating system. So, before we go to the uh, technical side, okay, let's first think of um, ano ba yung etong uh, take, uh, let's take time to ponder on the following. Okay? So, sabi dito, what is a body without a heart? Diba importante yung heart sa ating katawan? Same with yung lead sa, pink, sa pencil. Kung walang lead, paano siya magiging pencil? Or hindi siya makakapagsulat, no? So, definitely, without this, no, they would not function and they would not work. Now, same din sa isang computer. We need the operating system, okay? Because the operating system or the, the OS is an essential part of the computer. So, we, we, need, um, we need the operating system, okay? So, it acts as the middleman between the hardware and the software. Actually, or the application. So, hindi lang basa-basa nag-work ang isang gadgets, devices, laptop or desktop just by the hardware alone. Kailangan niya ng operating system. Just like our mobile phones. Kung Android user ka, okay, kailangan mo ng Android na operating system. Kung ikaw ay iPhone user, kailangan mo ng iOS. Okay? And then, saka lang tayo makakapag-install ng iba't ibang applications or programs na kailangan natin. Okay? So, that's why it is a middleman. Okay? Di ba para ma-access natin yung uh, Facebook, kailangan natin i-install yung application na Facebook. Pero hindi natin ma-access yung Facebook kung walang operating system. Okay? So, that's that's why tinatawag siyang middleman. Okay? So, yeah. So, we have different types of, or uh, I have here the list of some of the uh, most popular operating system. So, for personal computer, we usually use uh, Windows 10, 8, okay? Yung 7, Windows 7, ito ay hindi na supported ng Microsoft. Pag sinabing hindi na supported, wala na siyang, hindi na siya nagbibigay ng updates, okay? No, importante yung updates sa ating mga computer or laptop because included doon yung mga uh, pag-fix ng bugs, okay? Mga uh, 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 updates regarding malicious um, application or software, antivirus. That's how we protect okay, our uh, applications, or sorry, our laptop. Okay? Kailangan natin i-update ang ating mga computer. So the latest na operating system ngayon is Windows 10. Okay? Windows 7 is uh, actually hindi na supported ng Microsoft. Same with Microsoft XP. Actually, marami ng version. No? Merong Microsoft um, ME or Millennium, merong XP. Uh, mayroong Microsoft Vista. Okay? At bawat operating system version, meron pa siyang classification like Windows 10 Home Edition, uh, Windows 10 Enterprise Edition, or uh, Windows 10 Professional Edition. So, maraming classifications. Depende sa requirements ng user. Okay? So, for Mac computer, we have the Mac OS X and for uh, Samsung smartphone or uh, smartphone, okay, uh, be it Oppo, be it uh, Huawei, Samsung, um, what else? Ano pang classic? Alcatel, okay? Um, they are using Android. Pero yung Nokia, they are using the uh, Windows operating system kasi binili na sila ni, ni Microsoft. Okay, yung ating uh, Nokia. Okay? Um, ang operating system ng kanilang smartphone is Microsoft. Okay? Windows, sorry. So yan. So, for iPhone or iPad, we have the iOS. So, these are examples of 
um, uh, most popular operating system na yun na meron tayo. Okay? Okay, so each type of operating system is designed differently to accomplish their task. Okay? So, yes, even handheld devices like smartphones, tablets, okay, ay meron silang OS or operating system designed for faster launching of programs. So, meron siyang four components, the hardware, the operating system itself, the application program, and the user. So, these are the four major components of the uh, operating system. Okay. So, how are we going to uh, check, no? How are we going to verify what operating system installed in our computer? Okay. So, yung iba dyan, yung mga nagagumagamit ng pirated, no? So, beware, no? Kasi, uh, sometimes, uh, hindi kayo, one of the disadvantage ng paggamit ng um, pirated um, operating system is that hindi siya, syempre, hindi siya legitimate. At the same time, you cannot update your operating system. So, importante yung pag-update ng ating operating system for protection din for malware. For um, It also provides fixes sa mga errors or bugs ng ating uh, operating system. So, kuya, baga kung mahalata nyo, maraming version ng operating system. Most probably because merong, uh, yung mga developer nito ay merong nakitang mga uh, bugs or errors. Okay? That's why baga may mga operating system na hindi nagla-last that long. Example, Windows Vista. Okay? Hindi siya ganun tumagal because one of the uh, comment or uh, fine reviews about the uh, Microsoft Vista is that masyadong mabagal siya kung gagamitin mo sa isang desktop. So that's why hindi siya masyadong kumbaga, naging uh, 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 na-appreciate ng mga consumers. Okay? Kasi masyadong mabagal. Right there. So for us to be able to check, okay, or verify the operating system that, inst that is installed in our computer, okay, uh, ito ang gagawin natin. So click the start button, punta tayo sa control panel, and then look for uh, the system, okay? So kung makikita nyo dito sa figure, control panel system. So makikita nyo dito yung uh, anong klaseng operating system na gamit, anong edition, anong, kailan yung copyright year niya, and anong server pack siya. Okay? So, sa case ng example na to, yung Windows edition na ginagamit, na ginamit is Windows 7 Home Basic. So, marami kasing classification din yung Windows 7. Merong Enterprise, merong Ultimate, merong Professional. Okay? So, yan. So, eto yung mga kita natin. And then, dito din natin mga kita kung uh, activated na ba yung ating operating system. Pag sinabing activated, okay, Meron siyang product key. Meron kang license to use the uh, operating system. Okay? Now, uh, yung mga latest ngayon, yung ngayon, pag hindi yan uh, legitimate or hindi yan, kung wala kayong product key or license key, okay, pwede nyo lang magamitin yung inyong uh, laptop or inyong operating system for 30 days. Otherwise, hindi nyo na magagamit yung inyong laptop. Okay? Kasi hindi na siya magbubut. Take note, na importante ang operating system para magamit natin ang ating laptop. Okay? So, yan. Importante yung uh, operating system. Okay? Okay. So, how are we going to start, save, and close an application program? So, uh, punta lang tayo dun sa start button and then um, to launch or open the uh, application or program, we just have to look for the, uh, the, the application by typing the uh, the the name of the application. So, so for example, uh, gusto mong i-open yung Microsoft Word, so punta kayo sa start button and then dun sa search box. Okay? Type the uh, application that you wish to start, kagaya ng Word. So, yan. And then click it. Lalabas siya dyan. Okay? So, automatic mag-open yung uh, Microsoft Word. Actually, maraming pamamaraan para ma-open natin or uh, mas, yeah, ma-open natin ang isang application or program. Okay, merong shortcut. Okay, for example, uh, the Windows na keys sa inyong keyboard and then R, pag kinumbine mo siya, uh, dun sa run command, type nyo lang yung win word. Win word, one word. Win word. Okay, so, automatic mag-open yung inyong uh, Microsoft Word. So, there are 
ways, no? Maraming pamaran para ma-open natin ng isang applications. But this one is just a, uh, uh, kumbaga, kumbaga, papakita kung paano mag-open ng isang application. Okay? So, how to save naman lahat ng inyong uh, uh, ginagawa sa inyong application or program. So, usually, no, by default, no, para makapag-save tayo, ito yung ginagawa natin. Click file and then choose save. Or, Pwede rin na click file, then choose save as. To save it with a new name or in a different format. So, ano pagkakaiba ng save sa save as? Yung save, okay, automatic. Pag uh, mayroon ng file name, yung inyong, uh, say for example, Word document, Excel, or PowerPoint, pag mayroon na siyang file name at pinick niyo yung save, any changes na ginawa niyo, isa-save niya automatic. Okay. Yung save as is that ginagawa siya para i-rename natin yung file or application or, or yung document na ginagawa natin. Okay? That's one way to rename the uh, uh, a file no? dun sa application na yon Save as usually. So yan ang pagkakaiba ng save sa save as. Okay? Pero dun sa save kasi, pag first time mo siyang ginawa, okay? say for example, nag-open ka ng Word document, First time mong in-open siya, hindi ka pa naglalagay ng uh, file name. Hindi mo pa siya pinapangalanan. Okay? Pag-click mo yung uh, save, magre-require siya ng uh, file name doon sa ginagawa mo. Pero pag uh, mayroon siyang file name, pag pinik mo yung save, any changes na ginawa mo doon sa document is automatic na yung save. Pero sa save as, pag palagi mong pinipili or choose yung save as, automatic magre-require siya ng new name or pwedeng different format from say for example that that doc pwedeng that doc x or pwedeng that text okay so yan or that pdf take note sa ating uh, yung ating uh, office 365 yung microsoft okay office yung winword okay uh, microsoft word we can save a pdf file okay uh, kahit wala tayong adobe reader pwede tayong mag-save ng pdf Pipiliin lang natin doon yung sa uh, options yung PDF. Okay? So, that's why sabi dito, in a different format. Okay? So, yeah. And another way to uh, save, okay, your uh, work sa isang application is we can just press the control S sa ating keyboard. keyboard. Okay? So, that's how we save the document. And how to close the... Uh, the uh, application or the program, just click the close button and then click file, then close, or simply press Alt F4. So we have three ways. Click lang natin yung X uh, upper right most corner ng ating windows. Okay. And then another way is uh, click file and then click close. Or simply just press Alt F4. So we have three ways para... Uh, ma-close natin ang isang program or application. Okay? So, updating and upgrading the application or program. No, importante yung pag-update pag -update or pag-upgrade ng ating mga application. Okay? Why? Because they provide fixes for earlier bugs, uh, additional features, and improvements. So, just like our mobile phones, no? Sometimes, uh, May mag-pop-up -pop dyan. Software updates. Yan. Ibig sabihin, merong uh, pwedeng new features or uh, uh, fixes sa kanilang uh, 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 version or, or merong improvement sa kanilang um, application. Okay? So, importante yung updates. No? So, to check if your OS is up to date, ito yung ating steps. Click start. Choose all programs. Look for Windows Update. And a dialog box should appear wherein it will provide you with options for automatic updates, check for updates, update setting, etc. Now, sometimes, um, uh, pwede tayong maglagay ng, eto nakalagay dito, kaya automatic update, pwede natin siyang i-configure na automatic siyang mag-update as long as meron tayong internet connection. Okay? Pero pwede natin, pwede rin tayong manually mag-check ng updates. Okay? Pwede natin siyang i-configure sa update settings. So, yeah. That's how we update or upgrade the application. Parang kagaya lang yan sa ating mga games. 
no? Kailangan nating i-upgrade or i-update yung ating games kasi may mga bago siyang features. Okay? May uh, para i-address yung bugs. Okay? Ginagawa yan ng mga developer, no? Para um, uh, ma-resolve yung ibang issues. That's why they provide updates or upgrades sa kanilang application or programs. So how are we going to shut down the computer? Sabi dito, it is a must to turn off your computer to avoid file system damage. So, hindi pwede na basa-basa lang natin i-unplug yung ating mga laptop or i-close yung ating laptop or i-unplug yung ating mga desktop. Okay. Pwede na uh, corrupt yung ating uh, sometimes operating system. Okay. Baka pag next time in-on natin, hindi na siya mag-boot. Okay? So, yan. So the same process goes with process while you are using your computer to surf the net, to play game, or to watch a movie, there are processing running in the background. Kaya importante na properly shut down yung ating computer or yung ating uh, desktop or ating laptop. Okay? Kasi may mga processes okay, na uh, working, they are working sa background ng ating computer. Pag ano bang ibig sabihin ng running in the background? Pwede hindi natin nakikita na naka-open yung ating yung yung isang application pero ginagamit natin siya. Okay? So that's why sabi ko nga kanina, uh, one good example is you say for example, nag-Windows update ka. Naka-enable siya na automatic. So kahit hindi tayo mag-click ng uh, manual, auto, ibig sabihin as long as makakapag-detect siya ng internet connection, automatic mag-provide siya ng update. Bahala na doon si computer na mag-search uh, no ng uh, updates. So ganun din sa mga applications. Kaya importante na properly shut down yung ating mga computer kasi baka pag automatic in-off lang natin, in-unplug lang natin yung ating mga computer and then may mga processes na ginagawa yung ating iba't ibang application. So most probably ano mangyari, mau sila. Or baka mag the worst is masira yung ating ginagawang mga activities kung meron man. Okay? So, we have here a uh, window task manager. Windows task manager. Okay? We're in, sa so task manager, dito natin makita lahat ng running processes. Okay? Ibig sabihin, working na application or software. Okay? Kahit pa hindi natin siya nakita na, or kahit hindi pa natin, kahit hindi natin siya inopen. Okay? So, kumbaga, they're working uh, uh, in the background. No? Kumbaga, uh, they're working silently. Yan. Okay? So, yan. So, sa task manager natin yung makita. Okay? So, how are we going to uh, check or uh, launch the uh, task manager? Click start, type task manager, and then choose view running processes with task manager, and then click processes. So, ito yung lalabas niyan. Okay? Actually, ang shortcut ng task manager is uh, para mabuksan mo siya, pwedeng Control-Alt-Delete and then may pop-up up doon sa so Windows nyo. Pwedeng turn off, pwedeng restart, or pwedeng task, window task manager or task manager. Click nyo lang siya. Okay? So, sa task manager, makikita nyo dyan lahat ng processes okay, or application okay, that is running in the background of your computer. So, ano makakita natin dito sa under processes? Ito. So, ibig sabihin naka-open dito yung Chrome. Okay? Uh, Outlook, Winword, Dropbox, okay? Explorer. Yan. Ibig sabihin, ito ay naka uh, they're working. Kahit hindi pa natin kahit hindi natin sila in-open. Sometimes, baga, pag tayo ay nag-install ng mga applications, okay? Makikita natin yung mga notifications nila sa notification area ng ating desktop. Okay? So, kagaya ng antivirus, hindi naman natin siya in-open, pero they're working. Okay? Uh, makakita natin siya din sa task manager. Kasi sila yung nagmo-monitor kung meron bang, sila yung mga kumbaga guard, no? Uh, kung meron bang malware tayong napindot or uh, na-access. Yan. Okay? So, importante, uh, dito natin pwedeng i-end yung mga processes na to, Especially kung hindi naman natin ginagamit. Okay? So, one good example dito ay yung iTunes. Okay? Ibig sabihin, 
dito sa computer na to ay may naka-install na iTunes. Okay? So, kahit hindi natin ginagamit yung iTunes, pero they're working. Okay? Kasi bakit? Makita natin siya sa running process. So, pwede natin siyang in. Okay? Ano ba ang advantages? Or ano ba yung mga, uh, say for example, para saan ba to? Okay? Pag masyado nang mabagal, or masyado nang, yeah, masyado nang mabagal, or matagal mag-load, okay, yung ating uh, computer, pwede nating mag-end. Okay? Pwede nating end yung ibang mga app processes dito. Kasi take note, parang ano lang yan. Kung marami kayo dito ang mga running process, anong ibig sabihin? It will consume your memory or your processor. It will occupy space. Yan. Kaya mayroon kayo dito. CPU and then memory. So, pwedeng wala siyang ginagamit na CPU processes, but sa memory meron. Okay? Kung titingnan nyo, yung Chrome is 290. Okay? Uh, 1,764 kilobytes ng inyong memory ang ginagamit niya. So, that's why masyadong, mala, masyadong maba, pwedeng naging mabagal siya. Okay? So, sometimes, importante na i-end natin yung mga hindi naman natin ginagamit na mga applications through the Windows Task Manager. Actually, mayroong din isa, yung uh, pag nag-boot tayo or in-start natin yung ating laptop or desktop, may mga applications na as soon as mag-start yung ating laptop or desktop, naka-running ka agad yung application. So sometimes for me, ako dinidisable ko yun. Okay, gusto ko mag-appear lang siya kung kailan ko siya gagamitin. Why? Because it occupies memory. It occupies the memory of my laptop or my desktop. So pampaiwas, bagal pa rin siya. Okay? Pero kung may mga ano kayo, say for example, kayo ay gumagamit ng Dropbox, meron dito, Dropbox, yan, or uh, OneDrive, at inalaw nyo or enable nyo yung pag-sync sa cloud. Say for example, uh, nag-open kayo ng Microsoft Word, and then automatic gusto nyo i-save siya sa cloud. So definitely, okay, yung application na ginagamit nyo, like uh, Google Drive, OneDrive, okay, or uh, etong uh, Dropbox, okay? pag naka-enable yung sync nyo at kayo ay may internet connection, definitely siya ay running, okay, sa, makakita nyo siya dyan sa mga process. Kasi in-enable nyo siya eh. Okay? Pero kung dinisable nyo yun, so definitely, it will not uh, require or use memory ng inyong laptop or desktop. Okay, so yan. Dito nyo yan makakita. Okay. So, the Windows desktop is a place where you can interact with your computer by accessing the application, working with icons. Okay? So, we have um, uh, the graphical user interface or GUI. No? Uh, para ma-access natin yung ating desktop, uh, we just click the icons or graphics. Yan. Okay? So, makita na natin sa desktop yung notification for date, time, battery status, and internet connections. So, ito siya. Okay? So, yung one is the uh, desktop wallpaper. So, pwede natin palitan to. Okay? Yung icons, depende. Most applications, meron silang shortcut icons para mas madali nating magamit or ma-launch or ma-open yung ating mga applications. Okay? Kaysa pupunta pa tayo dun sa start and then program and then hahanapin natin yung application. So, that's why some applications, automatic meron siyang shortcut icons. Okay? Para mas accessible siya, mas madaling hanapin. Okay? So we also have the uh, start button and then the task bar. Dito natin makikita lahat ng mga applications na currently ginagamit natin. Currently naka-open. And sa notification, makikita natin dito yung uh, internet connection, connected ba tayo sa Wi-Fi, yung date, yung uh, status ng ating antivirus, uh, Windows update, Okay, uh, Windows Defender yan. Diyan natin makita lahat. Okay, sa notification area. Okay, so we also have the uh, Windows help functions. Na yung Windows help functions, ginagamit natin to, to search for, uh, say for example, may nakalimutan tayo, paano ba mag-search sa internet? How to access Internet Explorer? Okay, we can search that, okay, dito sa Windows help function ng Microsoft. Okay, so... Siya ay offline, ibig sabihin kahit pa uh, wala tayong, kahit pa hindi tayo connected sa internet, we can use it. No? Para pag may nahirapan tayo or hindi tayo nakuhang, uh, hindi natin ma-configure, 
Okay? We can search dito sa Windows Help Functions. Okay? So, paano ba natin ito ilalunch? Paano ba natin ito i-open? Uh, click lang natin yung start and then type help and then click the help and support na uh, text or uh, uh, options doon. Or, pwede rin na press F1 sa ating keyboard. Okay? So, how are we going to manipulate files and folders? Now, Windows have different file types for different media. Okay, iba yung uh, file types sa Word, iba sa images, music, and videos. Di ba, pag nakita lang natin, say for example, icon, alam ka agad natin na siya ay isang Word document, siya ay uh, audio, siya ay video. Di ba? Okay. Based lang sa icons. But sometimes, pwede rin sa type ng uh, file extension ng isang application. Okay? So, how are we going to do this? Para ma-check natin kung uh, ano yung type, file, type of file niya, uh, right-click nang natin yung file and then choose properties. So, makakita natin doon yung file name, anong program ang kailangan para ma-open natin yung uh, uh, file, uh, yung location niya, saan ba siya nakastore, yung size niya doon sa hard disk, yung date kung kailan siya create, kailan siya na-modify, kailan siya last na-access, and anong attributes niya. Uh, hidden files ba siya? Yan. Okay? So, these are the uh, uh, things that we can see sa properties. Okay? So, yan. That's the uh, the properties. Manipulating files. Okay? So, paano tayo makapag-create ng new file? So, doon pa lang sa Windows desktop natin, sa wall, doon sa may wallpaper, right-click lang natin and then click new. Yan. Ito. Okay? Click new. Lalabas to. Uh, folder, shortcut, Microsoft Access, contact. Pero, Usually kasi, ang makita natin dito ay yung palagi natin ginagamit ng mga applications or programs. Okay? So, that's why siya kagad ang magre-reflect dyan. Baka kasi trinay nyo ngayon, tapos sabihin nyo, magbola mo na akong Corel Draw. Okay? Hindi yan. Okay. Ang magre-reflect lang dyan or makita nyo dyan ay yung mga usually or most frequently used programs. Okay? So, that's how we uh, create a new file. Okay? So, yan. Okay, so we also have the different files, type of files, and file extension, and anong application or program ang kailangan natin para ma-open natin siya. Say for example, bumili ka ng bagong laptop, wala pa siyang, uh, wala siyang uh, Microsoft Office. Ngayon, nag-open ka ng laptop nyo. Okay? Uh, and then, in-open mo yung file na may file extension na that .doc. Okay? Pag in-open mo siya, definitely, since wala kang Microsoft Office, hindi mo siya ma-access. Okay? So, kasi, kailangan niya or it will ask for the required program to open the, the file. Okay? So, say for example, sa Word document or text, okay, ang mga file extension na may that text, okay, pwede natin siyang ma-open using a notepad. Now, lahat naman ng uh, uh, Windows ay mayroong notepad. Uh, .doc or .docx, Microsoft Word. Anong pagkakaiba ng .doc sa .docx? Yung .doc, ito yung mga older version ng mga Microsoft Office. Yung .docx, ito yung mga latest version. Okay? So, yan. .pdf, ibig sabihin, para ma-open natin siya, kailangan natin ng Adobe PDF Reader. Okay? So, these are examples ng mga file name extension sa Word document. Sa images naman, okay, we have the .ting, .jpeg, .jpg, .gif, .bmp. So, anong mga applications ang dapat natin gamitin para ma-access natin to? So, we have the uh, Windows Photo Viewer, MS Paint, Adobe Photoshop, Windows Photo, or sometimes your browser can can view it or can uh, will allow you to open okay, the, uh, the file. Okay. The sounds... Okay, yung mga file extension na .wav, .mp3, .m, .midi, .mp4. Okay, para ma-open natin siya, kailangan natin ng Windows Player or VLC. Same din sa videos or movies. Okay, kailangan natin ng mga uh, Windows Media Player or VLC Player. Okay? Okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so other file type that PSD, okay, kung kaya gumagamit ng Adobe Photoshop, pag nag-save kayo nun, okay, ang file extension niya ay that PSD. Okay? 
yung mga .html naman, we can open it, okay, using a text editor kagaya ng Notepad or Notepad++. Kung kayo ay uh, uh, nagko-code na for uh, mga HTML, no? Uh, we also have the browser para ma-view natin kung ano yung laman ng isang .html file. Ano bang example ng mga browser? We have Chrome, Mozilla, Safari. We also have um, Internet Explorer or yung Edge natin ngayon. Okay? So, yan. And, okay, so we also have the .rar, .zip, .iso. Okay? Wherein, ito ay mga examples ng file name extension para... Ibig sabihin, um, it means that that file is compressed file. Ibig sabihin, um, um, di ba, pag masyadong malaki yung isang folder natin, okay, para mas matipid tayo okay, sa ating space, no, kinocompress natin siya. So, okay. Um, we can only do that kung meron tayong application. And one of the application to uh, compress or extract a folder is WinRAR or sometimes WinZip. Yan. These are examples of uh, application or programs that compresses or extract files or, or folders. Okay? So, yan. Okay, so how are we going to search the files and information? So, say for example, nakalimutan mo kung saan mo sinave yung file, okay? Uh, yung mga folders mo sa inyong computer, pwede natin uh, click the start button ng inyong uh, desktop type keyword on the search box at the bottom. Or pwede rin, uh, click the computer na icon. Type your keyword in the search box at the upper left and then you should be able to see the list, okay, uh, ng result ng lahat ng sinearch ng inyong computer. So basically, we have two means or two ways to search for a file or a folder. Okay? So manipulating the disk. Okay. <clears throat> So disks such as local disk drives, usually C or D, and flash disk or drives can be erased or formatted. Okay? So you will see this option if you right-click on the disk. Okay, pag nag-right-click kayo, say for example dito sa figure, mayroon tayo ditong local disk C, local disk D. Okay, so pinili niya yung local disk D and then right-click. So ang mga options dito ay pwede natin siyang i-open, pwede natin siyang i-compress yung laman nitong local disk. Pwede natin siyang i-format or uh, i-erase lahat ng mga files. Or pwede natin kopyahin yung laman. Pwede tayong mag-create ng shortcut. Okay? Pwede tayong i-rename or pwede natin tingnan yung kanyang properties. Careful lang sa format. Kasi pag tinik natin yung format, automatic tatanggalin niya yung content. Okay? So another way para ma-manipulate natin yung disk is kung makikita niyo dito sa figure, meron siyang dalawa. Okay, dalawang hard disk drive. I'm just not sure kung ito ay uh, external. Ah, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Ito ay naka-partition. Pag sinabi natin partition, yung isang disk ay hinati sa dalawa. So, anong purpose? Bakit kailangang i-partition? Para i-separate niya kung saan ba naka-install yung kanyang operating system. At the same time, another uh, uh, drive for, say for example, lahat ng mga documents or files na meron siya. Anong purpose nito? Say for example, nakurap yung inyong uh, operating system. So, lahat lang na mawawala, okay, ay yung nandito sa local disk. Okay? Pero, hindi affected lahat ng files na nandun sa drive D or local disk D. Okay? So, another example is, uh, gusto kong i-reformat to, linisin tong part ng local disk D. Okay lang. Ito lang ang malilinisan. Hindi affected dyan yung local disk C. Okay? So, yan ang importansya ng partition. Okay? So, partition. Okay? So, yan. So, how are we going to install, add a new printer? So, para makita natin kung ano ba yung mga printers installed, punta lang tayo sa start and then choose devices and printers. And then, makita nyo dyan lahat ng listed na printers na meron sa inyong desktop or laptop. So, kung makita nyo dito sa figure, okay, meron ditong parang nakacheck. Yan. Ibig sabihin, yan yung default na printer. Okay? Kasi bakit kailangan i-enable natin or uh, uh, i-click natin yung default na printer? Kasi parang ang dating is, sa dinami-daming 
makikita connected na printer or installed na printer sa computer, alin dun ang gagamitin ko? Okay? So, yan yung tanong ni computer. So, that's why we have to set a default printer. Okay? So, para mag-add or mag-install ng new printer, so, devices, printers, add a printer, uh, ano ba siya? Local ba siya? Ibig sabihin, connected ba siya sa mga ports nyo or connected siya sa isang network? Okay? Kung siya ay connected sa network, ano ba? Via Bluetooth ba o via wireless? Kung wireless yung inyong printer. Okay? Select use existing port button. Okay, depende. Pwedeng uh, USB port, pwedeng uh, serial port. Kasi yung mga recent na yun na printer, pwede natin siyang gamitin via USB port. Yung mga old model na printer, connected pa siya via a uh, serial port. Okay? So yan. And then click next, install printer drive. And then may maglalabas dyan na printer wizard. Pag sinabi natin wizard, it a uh, automatic siya nang mag-guide sa inyo. You just have to click and click and click hanggang sa automatic main install niyo yung device or gadgets niyo. And then click finish when you're done. So that's how we add or install a new printer. So ito yung kanina, paano mag-set ng default printer? So para saan yung default printer? It means the printer automatically chosen when you are printing a document. Okay? Kasi sa dinami-dami in-touch nyo na printer sa desktop nyo or laptop, alin doon ang gagamitin ng computer. So, we have to set yung default na printer. Okay? So, how to set? Click start. Choose devices and printers. Under printer and faxes, right-click doon sa printer na gagamitin nyo or napili yung default printer and then click as, click the uh, set as default printer. So, that's how we set as the default printer. Parang ano kasi yan, may dalawa kayang printer, Canon and then Epson. Yung isa na wala ng ink, so gagamitin mo Epson na lang. Pero yung naka-default na printer is Canon. So pag ginamit mo yung Epson, definitely hindi siya mag-work. Kailangan nyo muna siyang iset as default printer para magamit mo yung Epson. Okay? So yan yung purpose ng setting the default printer. Okay, so we also have printing the document. So, okay, palagi dapat pag nag-print tayo ng document, okay, kailangan natin siya munang i-preview. Okay? Kasi bakit? Tingnan natin yung uh, kanyang uh, pagination. Baka naman may mga maling spelling. Okay? Baka naman may mga hanging paragraph or hanging page. Baka mayroong mga misplaced words. Kasi sometimes, automatic tayo nag-print, control T and then enter. Nung chinect natin yung documents, ay mali-mali pala. Okay? So we have to what? Preview it first. Okay? So anong makita sa preview? Okay? So ilang copies? Yan. Okay, so, eto. Anong printer ang gagamitin mo? Uh, Epson, Canon? Depende sa options. Sa printer options, uh, printer properties, uh, makikita nyo din dito kung colored ba siya, black only ba, yan. Okay, so, yan makikita mo dyan. And print all pages, kung uh, gusto nyo to, or uh, uh, pwede ba siyang collated, pag sinabi natin collated, pasunod-sunod. Say, for example, meron kayong 10 pages, 1, 2, 3, or 1, 1, 1 muna ang unahin. Depende. Okay? And kung anong klaseng paper ang gagamitin nyo. Okay? Kung ano din yung orientation, siya ba ay naka-landscape, naka-portrait, yan. And yung margins. Okay? So that's how we uh, as configure the uh, print, uh, printer settings. Okay? So that's it. That's how we operate the... Uh, Basically, yung discuss ko today is how we operate a personal computer and how to attach or install a printer sa ating desktop or ating laptop.